Hi everyone, it's Senator Fred Akshar. We've just finished up the 2021 legislative session and I wanted to give you a recap of what we were able to get done this year. My main objective every session is to represent the people of the 52nd Senate District in the needs of our communities. This year, I also worked to ensure that our great state could make a strong recovery from the coronavirus pandemic. To make that happen, I'm proud to have helped secure these meaningful victories. We joined parents and educators across this great state in successfully pushing back against the governor's insane mask on toddlers mandate. We put an end to the governor's food and curfew mandates, helping our local restaurants and small businesses save jobs and stay open. We preserved an income tax cut for middle class New Yorkers in this year's state budget. We also advocated for small businesses, leading to a $1 billion in direct assistance in this year's state budget, and an additional $800 in grant programming for these businesses and not-for-profits that were impacted by COVID-19. We stood up and we spoke out for our students, for our teachers, and helped secure a record $29 billion in school aid. We help lead the successful effort to restore and actually increase funding for the Joseph P. Dwyer peer-to-peer -peer program by 11%. This year's total is $5 million in funding. We pushed state officials to release federal rent relief funding to assist struggling New Yorkers. And we called for a swift and equitable distribution of the coronavirus vaccine for all who sought it. We also had two legislative bipartisan victories that are near and dear to my heart. We passed a bill that I co-sponsor to ensure that any future opioid addiction settlement dollars are used solely for addiction treatment and prevention services. This year, the governor swept $21 million in settlement funds for other purposes. We can never ever let that happen again. Locally, after Travis Flanagan's tragic accident, I joined my colleagues across the aisle to pass legislation to allow New York medical helicopters to carry blood and to perform blood transfusions to help save lives. Can you believe that New York is the only state in the nation that doesn't allow helicopters to carry blood? We are strongly urging the governor to sign this bill into law as soon as possible. It will help save lives. When this year started, coronavirus was surging and our future looked uncertain. As the legislative session comes to a close, I'm confident that the worst is behind us and we've taken the essential steps in providing a brighter future for all of our residents. As always, I am humbled to be your state senator. I look forward to seeing you out in the district. Thank you and God bless.